When President Mahmoud Buhari arrived at the White House for his meeting with President Donald Trump, many hoped the president would not betray Nigeria in light of appearing cap in hand, waiting for any handouts that may be given by the U.S. government. We recognize the strong United States support in our fight against terrorism and also appreciated very much the United States agreement to sell 12 Super Tucano A29 warplanes and weapons to Nigeria to effectively fight terrorism. But as some analysts, the president could have focused on some other equally important areas instead of bringing up the regular. One, the investment of the USA in Nigeria has been dwindling, you know. Um, then they used to buy a lot of oil from us. These have also dwindled. Mm. Um, we, in return, have not been able to really export much to the United States. And if anyone was listening, President Trump made a request for Nigeria to provide level playing field for trade between both countries. We give Nigeria well over $1 billion in aid every year, and we have already started talking with the president about taking down the trade barriers. Earlier this year, the U.S. Agency for International Development announced $89 million in additional development assistance to Nigeria to continue its support for development goals outlined in a Development Objectives Assistance Agreement between the U.S. and the Nigerian government, which was signed in 2015. A breakdown shows the monies would go to HIV-AIDS control through PREPFA, increase agricultural productivity and economic growth, strengthen education, support good governance, and improve water and sanitation infrastructure. When put together with all other funding from the U.S. government under a five-year assistance agreement, it would amount to $808.5 million for Nigeria. Amarachi Ubani, Channel Television News.